Hey guys, welcome back. You're still tuned into Business Lunch. Now, an important story. The Association for Democratic Reforms has moved the Supreme Court with a contempt plea against SBI's failure to submit details of electoral bonds within the prescribed deadline. So, Ashmit joins us with the details. Uh, Ashmit, take us through what the ADR is alleging and where do things really stand on this right now? Well, just for context, the deadline for the SBI to furnish the electoral bond details was March 6th. And interestingly, a couple of days ahead of that, on March 4th, SBI had filed an application seeking an extension of time till June 30th, which many said was, was which, which many criticized uh, for being uh, after the Lok Sabha elections. Now, that appears to be the grounds that ADR has taken, Association for Democratic Reforms has taken in filing its contempt plea before the Apex Court. They mentioned it today before the Chief Justice, likely to be taken up on Monday. Uh, but what is uh, at the heart of this contempt petition? Well, what uh, ADR is essentially arguing is that, look, this uh, p petition by SBI coming in just at the very last minute appears to be malified, appears to be designed to deliberately uh, defeat the Supreme Court prescribed deadline of March 6th, going on to say that uh, there appears to be very clear information available that SBI attaches a unique serial number to each and every one of these electoral bonds, that courtesy the unique serial number, they become very traceable. The information is accessible is only a click, uh, click away. It does not require as laborious an exercise as SBI has made it out to be, uh, that this is uh, designed to defeat the intent of the SBI, at least what the ADR is claiming, is the design, it is designed to defeat the voters' right to know, especially coming ahead of the Lok Sabha election. So, pressing concerns being raised here by ADR. Uh, we understand that the SBI application is due to be taken up on Monday, that's 11th of March. The anticipation is that this contempt petition uh, will also be taken up simultaneously alongside the SBI application for extension of time. Back to you. All right, Ashmit, thanks so much for getting us all the details of the legal nuances of this very critical issue right ahead of the elections on electoral bonds and electoral bonds um, related issue where people need to know. That is the main takeaway coming in from that particular argument. Let's see how this case really goes with that. Uh, we'll slip into a short breather on business lunch. But when we return, we dive into the flurry of infrastructure projects Maharashtra has taken up in the recent months ahead of the election. Stay tuned.